uh, you have this site. Um, for the first hands-on example, it's for a simple one-point sauce. Uh, it's a point sauce. There's, a, there's two types of sauces. There's a point sauce and area sauce. There's also a volume sauce, but um, we only consider the point and volume sauce for now. Actually, just a point sauce for now. So in this case, uh, it's just for one point sauce or a singular stack. We imagine it to be a singular stack. The stack can be on the ground or it could be somewhere. It could release at a higher elevation um, than the ground. So for this simple one point source, you need three executable file, uh, ex the airscreen.exe, the airmod.exe, and the makemat.exe. So make sure you have these three executable files in a folder somewhere on your, in your, on your PC. On your, uh, in your PC. So, so um, you all have this slide, right? So if you can't see it, just refer to the slide. Now this uh, step here follows the same, uh, is the same steps for the other hands-on example. The first step you need to do, I, hopefully you've done it by now, is to create a folder. You can call it air screen or you can call it something else. It doesn't really matter. Um, well, if you want to follow this example, just name the folder air screen. And you need to take note of the path like that. So uh, have you experimented, the, experimented with the um, command? Um, CMD application. So when you see this, ex let me show it to you straight away. This is a common problem, right? It might be a slightly different, it might be a bit different for you if you use Windows 7 or Windows 8, but the general picture or the general look of the application is something like that, this, this black box. Okay. You can't really increase the size of this. This is what you'll see. Um, can you boot up or run that application, CMD application? And you get this blank screen, uh, this black screen with a prompt. A few terms I need to introduce here. Uh, the C dot dot slash user slash user is the path, the current directory in which the prompt is in at the moment. So in this case, um, it's in this folder called user and inside that user folder. So uh, just imagine like a folder called users, and inside this users folder, there's another user folder, and you're inside that folder when it's, it's stated as this. Now, if you want to change folder, then you use this command called cd. cd. Change directory. cd, change directory. Cap small c, small d. So if I, okay, if I press enter here, it will just go back to the default one the default uh, directory. It will be a bit different for you, for you guys because you're, you have a different folder structure. So for this one, it's user, user. Now, if I uh, want to go inside a folder, first I need to know what are the directories in that folder, is it, what are the available directories in that folder. So I press this, uh, I type this command called dir. Dir stands for directory. So these are the list of directories inside this folder. Now, if I want to go to any particular directory, like say, for example, downloads, I just type cd, then downloads. Type, uh, keep, uh, keep in mind the, the, what do you call this? Uh, the, the cap, whether the, the word is cap, there's a capital letter for the first letter, or yeah, whether it's capital or is it small letters. For in this instance, it's downloads, it's capital D, and then there's an S at the back. So if I type CD downloads, it will go inside that folder. Now, once I press enter, you see that now there's a user, user downloads. So if it's a bit difficult for you to see, why don't you just come here and then just stand in front here just to get an idea. If you, you cannot see, if you can see, there's no problem. Or you can try it on your computer. Now, if I want to go back from downloads, I just type CD again, then it'll go back. No, no, sorry. Oh, CD dot dot. Then I'll go back. I want to go in, CD downloads. So that's how you change directories. And this is what I mean by navigating the path, remember? When I mentioned in the previous class, I said we need to nav navigate the path by using CD. So this is what I mean, because you need to navigate to that air screen path. Because you put your air screen uh, folder somewhere in your PC, so you need to know the path of that uh, air screen folder. And you, in this command uh, window, you need to navigate to that directory using the cd uh, command. 
So just two new commands for you. Just you don't need to know the rest. I think you just need to know CD, change directory, and DRR just to check the directories they are inside that um, folder. Do you understand? So have you tr played around with this? Not yet. So uh, why don't you explore uh, on your own and how to use it? I'll come go through each one. Make sure you'll be able to go to that folder that you created, uh, where you put all the uh, air screen files.